Hey Tomcats! As you probably already know, Move-In looks a little different this year so we can make it to May. But just to recap, there's two parts of Move-In. The first part is where you bring majority of your belongings during your designated time frame August 2nd through the 7th. The second part is where you bring the rest of your belongings and actually stay on campus. For athletes, this is August 13th and for incoming first years and returning students, it's August 16th. Okay, so by now you guys are probably wondering what to bring on each move-in day, so let's get into it. You know what, let's just put a list on the screen so you guys can pause and read as needed. The 2nd through the 7th, you'll want to bring your twin extra-long bedding items, including a mattress pad, your larger items such as your refrigerator, a TV, a fan or two, most of your clothes, and all of your personal toiletries that you don't use on a day-to-day -day basis. Alright, let's go over what to bring on your designated move-in day, whether that's the 13th or the 16th. So make sure to remember the last of your clothes and toiletries, and consider bringing some rain gear, whether it's an umbrella or a rain jacket. We live in Western PA, so the weather is pretty unpredictable. Make sure to bring an extra mask and a bottle of hand sanitizer. Although masks will be provided to all students, it's nice to have an extra one on hand. And make sure to bring those perishable snacks and drinks that you didn't bring the first time around. Lastly, let's go over what not to bring. First up on that list is a microwave. All of our residence halls have their own microwave in each lobby, so you won't need to worry about purchasing a new one. Also on that list are water mattresses, air conditioning units, window fans, as well as pets. Something new we're asking students not to bring a lot of are winter clothes. Because we are leaving at Thanksgiving break this year, we're probably going to miss that cold front, therefore you won't need a lot of winter clothes. Well, that pretty much sums it up, Tomcats. We can't wait to see you back on campus in a few weeks, and we can't thank you enough for helping us make it to May.